Now in this question we're given an open topped water tank in the shape of a cuboid which I've drawn here. Dimensions are that it has a height of x meters, width of x meters and a length of y meters. We're also told that the volume, the capacity is 100 cubic meters and asked to show that the surface area A of metal used to make this cuboid is given by 300 over x plus 2x squared. So how are we going to do this? Well first of all we know that the area of the metal required, the surface area in other words, is going to be the base area which is x times y, so that would be xy. We'd have to add to that the area of the two ends here, this one and this one over here. So the area of each end would be x squared, so we've got 2x squared. And then we've got this side here and the side over the back there. And the area of each side is going to be xy, so we've got two of those, so that's 2xy. Next, what we need to do is just simplify this. So xy plus another xy is going to be 3xy and then we have the plus 2x squared on the end. So therefore we've got the area A is given by this equation here. Now also you'll notice that what we've got here is a y in this equation and there is no y in the equation that we've got to show. So how are we going to get rid of this y? Well, what we know is that the volume we're given is 100 cubic meters and we should know how to calculate the volume V of the cuboid here because it would be the area of the cross section, let's say this one here, it would be x squared times the length, x squared y in other words. But we know that the volume is 100 so therefore 100 would equal x squared y. And it's in this equation that I can rearrange it to make y the subject and express y in terms of x. So by dividing both sides by x squared I get that y equals 100 over x squared. And if I number this equation up here, number 1, and this equation down here, number 2, then what I've got to do now is just simply substitute 2 into 1. So if I say that, sub 2 into 1, what we have is the area A is equal to 3x multiplied by y, which is 100 over x squared, so 100 over x squared, and then plus the 2x squared on the end. And what we have now is that in this first term you can cancel out the x here, x into x goes once and x into x squared just goes x times. So cleaning this up you have 3 times 100 which is 300 over x and then plus the last term here plus 2x squared. And there you have it. We've shown then that the area A is equal to 300 over x plus 2x squared as requested. And that brings us quite nicely to the end of this first part of this question.